Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode in our Rugby League Live 2 playthrough as uh, the Brisbane Broncos. As you can see, our opponent for today are the Little Brother Club in the Gold Coast Titans, who actually have a pretty decent squad, I reckon. At the time, it was a side that had a lot of potential, but they were just unable to perform. As we take a look at our squad for round five, we do have a couple of changes, a couple players returning, and that's Peter Wallace into the halves, pushing Hunt back to the bench, and also Josh Hoffman returning on the wing, forcing Kahu out of the squad. First action of the game comes with the Titans here, as they get wrapped up on the last looking to get a clearance kick out it's going to be michaels who kicks it out on the full but it will be a gold coast feed i was holding i think l3 to let it go into touch but that little glitch of where it still hits the player we get done by that little glitch but it's no biggie there are a couple of things i will have to relearn like little bugs like that as the titans go on a little raid a little dummy then the mistake goes to Zilman. Zilman drawing in two defenders and White gets an offload away but as you can see another annoying aspect of the game we had the interception but I was spamming the tackle button which forced us to chip the ball. That was completely my fault I had to try to stop spamming the tackle button as we rush up on Kelly trying to shut the play down. A decent tackle by Prince on the third as they try to shift it to the middle and it's going to be some garbage defense by the Broncos here on our line just rushing up trying to shut it down we don't actually we don't actually commit and end up leaving way too many holes in the line I will say this though the computer with ball in hand have actually looked pretty decent throwing a few dummies like Idris did right here a little dummy outside passes back inside as Mead takes the tackle they come back to Idris Gets it out to Bird on the wing, flirting with that sideline, actually gets shoveled into touch by the returning winger in Hoffman. That's another thing you have to be careful with on this game. I wish I were like that on Rugby League Life 4. When you're close to the sideline, it's very easy to get taken into touch. And I reckon it should be like that. It is a risk running down that sideline. As we get an offload away to Yao Yi here, with Hojo supporting on the inside, we find him for our first points of the game. You can chalk that up to Alex Glenn, who fended off one defender, drew in another and got the offload away. Can we convert our first try? And we finally, uh, it took until round five, but we finally converted some points here with uh, Scott Prince. As we look set to return with Jarrell Yaoyi, who gets wrapped up on the 30. Cut out ball to Glenn this time, just taking a settler through the middle. And we actually lose the ball in the tackle. And the Titans looking to immediately counter attack. Off a quick play of the ball and a beautiful set of passes. Leads to the Titans second try of the game. Just some brilliant play by the AI. That definitely caught me off guard. There was like a 4 on 2 on that short side. And they actually capitalized on it as Caesar converts. And it'll be the Titans heading into the halftime break with a six-point lead. Well, I've really enjoyed that first half. You look pretty positive, Gus. What do you think? I really enjoyed it. Both coaches will be wanting their players to stick to the main game plan, but I suspect there'll be a few small tweaks here and there. Second half of the match begins with us in possession here with Reed. Reed getting hammered in the tackle on our 20. As we send it to Wallace, Wallace with the wide ball, finds Parker, puts him through space, and he's pulled down from the back. As we continue to run down the spline side, we are, oh, well, we do have the advantage here with the numbers. Yao Yi back to Hodges once again, supporting on the inside, and it's going to be Hodges crossing the line for a double with the kick to come by uh, Scott Prince, hopefully. <laughs> he still has the radar working here. As we take the shot and it is good for two. And we tie the game up. We are 51 minutes into the match. 
as Zilman takes the return. And it's going to be another short side play, this time not paying off for the Titans as they get taken into touch. I was just talking about the risk of running down those sidelines. And unfortunately for the Titans, it doesn't pay off. As we find Norman on the back of the scrum, they're setting up to the right, but it's all clunky here. So we just get it to Dodds to settle it down. Another decent setup here to the left. We pop it under to Gillette, almost putting him in space. It looked open, but it closed up real quick. As we continue to go down this left side, and we... Oh, kill him! We were not meant to chip it, but it pays off for us in the end. As we step past the last defender, and it's going to be Hodges crossing for a hat-trick. Can we make it three from three? Off the boot, no we can't. And that pretty much wraps up all the action here in round five. We walk away with a uh, decent victory, I'd say. Our uh, left edge, which is my preferred side, were pretty potent in today's game. Prince, Hodges, and Yao Yi in particular. They were the go-tos in attack. Glenn too had a pretty decent game as uh, Hojo picks up man of the match in the 16 to 12 victory. So before we jet off here, like I said, we will be simulating every second round just to progress through the series faster. It may change come origin time. I guess we'll see when we get there. But as you can see, we defeat the Cowboys here 14 points to zero. Scott Prince continuing his poor form off the boot. Kicks one from three. And as always, if you made it this far into the video, hit up that comment section with a hashtag odd squad. And be sure to slap that like button for more rugby league live too, or more content in general. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you. you, you. Think I Later. Won't get it popping cause I'm popular. And what your line ain't popping, got a spot for ya. Hit OT and get it popping off my Nokia. Best be happy that I'm rapping, not robbing ya. You couldn't see my.